Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how I created this easy look using only Wet n Wild products. I've got a few new products from Wet n Wild for this video especially. So I'll be giving mini reviews for all the new products as well. Also, I'll show you guys how to save your eyeshadow look if you accidentally mess it up. Too much of information in a single video. So if you guys are as excited as me, then continue watching my video. I've already moisturized my face and applied lip balm. The only thing I don't have from Wet n Wild is their face primer. I searched in purple, Amazon and even on Nykaa but it was not available at that time so I'm going to use my usual primer, the Faces Canada Ultime Pro Perfecting Primer. For eyebrows, I have the Wet n Wild Eyebrow Pencil. All shade details and product details will be in the description box for you guys. So check it out if you're interested. This shade is a perfect one for darker eyebrows. The pencil also comes with a spoolie on the other end, which makes the whole eyebrow process easier. I liked how natural my filled eyebrow looks so this product is a thumbs up from my side. To clean up my brows, I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer in Medium Deep Tan along with a Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. To prep my eyelids, I'm using the same concealer and using my finger to pat on the concealer on my lids. To avoid creasing of the concealer, I'm applying a thin coat of this Wet n Wild Press Powder over the concealed areas. For my eyeshadow, I'm using the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. Taking this light brown shade for my crease and my transition. Now applying this deeper brown shade to define my crease and outer V a little more. To further deepen my outer V, I'm taking this dark brown shade and applying it in the corner. As the blending brush didn't give much pigmentation, I'm taking this flat eyeshadow brush to pack on the shade. Applying the shade in the outer corner and taking it a little on the crease as well. To blend everything together, I'm taking the first transition shade and blending everything well. It might look like a hot mess now but don't worry, I'll show you guys how to clean up the mess. I'm taking a q-tip which is dipped in micellar water and cleaning the edges and my eyebrows as well. This might take time and you can shape your eyeshadow look to any way you prefer. Now for my lids, I'm taking this beautiful peacock blue green shimmer shade and applying it on the lid with the help of my finger for maximum pigmentation. Yeah, 
To shape the edges, I am using a flat shader brush and applying it on the edges alone. You can see that I have left the inner one third of my eyelid space free. I'm going to apply this shade there but I was not liking the look so I'm taking this golden shade and layering it on top of the first shade. To brighten up my eyes further, I'm taking this champagne shade and applying it on the inner corner and merging it with the previous shade. For eyeliner, I have this eyeliner pencil again from Wet n Wild of course. I have planned to go a little lighter on my eyeliner because the eye look looks pretty intense already. This one is not the blackest black or the creamiest pencil but I think I can make it work. I am applying the eyeliner on my lower waterline as well but not planning to take it all the way to my inner corner. For my lower lid, I have another eyeliner pencil and this is a new color. It seems so light on my skin and I don't know if it will show up on my skin or not. But anyways, I'm going to try it out. As already guessed, I didn't like the way this pencil transferred on my lids so I'm taking the black shade again and drawing a very thin line, nothing too dramatic, nothing too crazy. I'm cleaning all the fallouts using micellar water and a piece of cloth and sharpening out the edges too. Now I'm reapplying the primer again cause I just now wiped it off right. I really don't know why I applied primer in the beginning but um, it's okay. Now concealing my under eyes well because I want it to be perfect for this dark bold eyeshadow look. I'm first blending with my finger and then taking the beauty blender to take out all the excess product from my skin. I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation in Desert Beige now, taking a little on the back of my hand and warming it a little with my fingers and then dotting the foundation for a better application. Remember to take the foundation to your neck as well, you want your face and neck to match. To set the concealed areas, I'm taking the pressed powder on a clean eyeshadow brush and applying a thin coat. For the rest of my face, I'm taking this huge powder brush from Wet n Wild to disperse powder all over my face to lock all my cream products into the skin. For contouring, I'm using this contouring palette in Caramel Toffee along with the Wet n Wild contour brush. I am fast forwarding this part because it's a very lengthy one. I have an in-depth tutorial on contouring the face correctly so if you guys are interested then you can check it out. I'll link the videos in the cards and also in my description box. For blush, I am taking the Mellow Wine blush and blending well with the contour. For highlight, this is a new product and I am super duper excited because I have seen YouTubers rave about this product all the time. It's of course the Wet n Wild highlighter and it looks so beautiful. There are no chunky glitters and it has a very beautiful subtle golden glow. To precisely apply highlighter again, I am using this eyeshadow brush. 
you can layer this highlighter and it won't look bad at all because it has such a natural glow so you can definitely go overboard with this highlighter i love it so much guys it's a huge thumbs up from my side to blend everything i'm using this damp sponge to highlight the inner corner and brow bone i'm using the same highlighter For mascara, I purchased this double XL Lashes Mascara from Wet n Wild. I particularly chose this one because these types of mascara claim to give a fuller lash look and so all my falsy haters can skip on their fake lashes if they own a mascara like this. Let's put this mascara to action and see if it really does what it claims. I like the way it has given me a feathered full lash look and it's not clumping up even a little bit so I'm okay with this mascara. If you curl your lashes and then go for the mascara, then this mascara will show its true potential I guess. For my lower waterline, I'm completing the eyeshadow look using a very thin layer of the lid color. For lipstick, I have got bullet lipstick as well as liquid lipstick. Lipsticks are everyone's personal choice. I decided to go on with this Wet n Wild Catsuit Lipstick in Berry Recognize today. It's one of my most favorite shades and I've completely used it. I feel like going for a glossy lip today so I am applying a little bit of this peachy gloss from Wet n Wild obviously. I have set my face with this setting spray from Wet n Wild but the footage got deleted somehow guys I'm sorry. So this completes my overall look. I enjoyed trying out different products and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did then give me a thumbs up and share this video with others as well. Let's quickly jump into today's comment shout out and the shout out goes to Prasanna Anthony. Thank you so much Prasanna. If you guys wish to participate in my shout outs then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications to get updated whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to comment down on my videos as well and I might choose your comment next. It is a random pick guys so just keep commenting. I'll meet you all in another video. Until then stay safe and be happy. Bye.